welcome back to Jay's Two Cents, guys. If you've watched my channel long enough, you know I love to water cool. And you know I like to go extreme from time to time. I've got a quad rad and a triple rad in my system right now. Radiators are one of those things that have been around for a long, long time. And I'm not talking about computer radiators. Remember, computer radiators are just an adapted technology that have been used in automotive engines and generators and anything that needs to cool water goes through a radiator or to cool any sort of fluid goes through a radiator. Transmissions in cars, power steering, it's all cooled by a radiator and air to air cooling air to radiator through, uh, you know how a radiator works, hopefully. The guys over at uh, Aqua Tuning sent me a product that is just beyond extreme when it comes to cooling. And without, let me just go ahead and just show you. This product is so new, it has no label on it. Check it out. It's my first white box unboxing, guys. I'm so excited I've, I've reached that point where I get something before it's even branded. And there it is, bubble wrap. Inside here, we have a radiator, obviously. And you have some stainless steel screws right there. There's nothing else in the box. There's no brand label, there's no manual, there's nothing. And that's because I don't think they've even gotten that far with it, but they know how much I love water cooling and they went ahead and sent it to me now. So what we are about to take a look at is an extreme high pressure capable water cooling radiator, and here it is. As you can see, this radiator is aluminum, or aluminium, so you don't flame me from the UK, aluminium. Guys, we, we, we say it differently here, there's a different letter spelling here. You have here an aluminium radiator with a, a brass and, and a brass core. I believe, or it's all aluminum. Actually, take it back. It's solid aluminum, and it makes this thing extremely high pressure tolerable. I want to say five bar. I may be wrong, but the bottom line is this can handle enough pressure from an automotive, like a motorcycle or a snowboard, a snowboard, a snowmobile. It is way more than you need for computer cooling. But what's interesting about this, and I want to show you is you see how the internal rows are tubular? Tubular. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, there's a lot. There's like 15 rows of those tubes in there because they're, they're layered. There's, you know, they're all throughout here. So that means that it's also extremely high flow. Uh, <laughs> if you're going with an extremely high-end water cooling system, this is something that you may want to consider. In fact, uh, Aqua Computer has made uh, radiators very similar to this, but this is just the beefiest radiator. In fact, I almost feel like sticking this in my car, uh, and because I used to, I used to do uh, heavily modified cars in the past. This is the kind of thing I would have put on my car as like a transmission cooler or uh, a power steering cooler or something like that. This is insane. I mean, it is extremely high quality. And these black pieces here, these are just aesthetic plates put on here to make the, the radiator more attractive. I mean, look, even the fittings on here where you screw in your fittings are brass and welded right to the radiator itself. I mean, God, this is industrial grade. Why they sent it to me? I think they just want me to show you guys water cooling is not going away. In fact, it is evolving just like everything else when it comes to the PC world, so. Now I think they might've been playing a little bit of a joke on me at the same time, because not only did they send me this huge radiator, at the same time they sent me this radiator. This is a radiator. We'll just open it up. It's alpha cool. You've got this. There's all your hardware. This is the cutest little thing ever. Look at this. It's so tiny. It's a triple rad for 40 millimeter fans. It's 45 millimeters thick. It is thicker than it is wide. It is crazy. It looks like a harmonica. <laughs> anyway, it's got quarter inch barbs already on there, but I think this is just goes to show that I've got this huge 45 millimeter thick quad rad in there and you can also get this itty bitty little guy. And I asked him, I said, what, what do you want me to do with this? I mean, I can't, I can't really use this. I said, what practical applications could you really use with this? And they said they sell out of these all the time and people are using these in their RC hobbies. So it just goes to show water cooling stuff for PC is obviously not just PC. You can use it anywhere your imagination allows or you have fluid that you need to cool. 
This looks like a pretty badass little radiator if you want to stick it in maybe a quarter scale RC car and keep the thing nice and cool. It's pretty awesome. If you need something that can tolerate high pressure, check this bad boy out. I don't know what it's called. I can't tell you what it's called. It's just a high pressure radiator. It's not branded. It's that new. It's really cool. I'm gonna go put it in a Volkswagen. See you guys next time. Jace Two Cents.